Hello, Division 4. So today's math, uh, page uh, 131 and 132, is just more um, practice and review with how multiplication and division are uh, related and how they are connected. And um, the more practice you get, the, the more um, when we get into higher levels of division, it'll just come in so much more handy. And what a lot of this is to do with is just more to do like um, with site um, numeracy in a sense like we know that there's a lot of site words out there like um, like the and and um, we don't sound those out because we've seen them so often that they just come as soon as you see them you 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 say the word um, same thing with with some of the, with with math with with these you can you see them enough times you don't actually have to go through just timetables there's always going to be some tough ones but if you do them enough on the come second nature for example you see the two and you're knowing two times what is eight now you could count you know, the two four six eight you know it's four times um however though you would probably at the point know that you've done it enough times that it's just gonna be the four so if you look at the three and this is i like how you have the, the little fella here you know two times what is eight so like you know, three times what is six so how many groups of three going to six and yes you can go you know three six or two groups no oh, two um but probably at this point you're probably going to start r recognizing numbers because you've done them enough like when you know the five times what is 25 and you can or you know that it's five times five now another way of looking at it is here when you see the the 18 up here and you see the six and the three so the six times three is 18 so and we know that 18 divided by three is six and six by three you know so that's a big combination so when you see the six and the 24 um once again if you've done your your time tables enough that you know the six and you already know it, it takes four groups of six to get to the 24. and so but that is just more reinforcing um recognizing that by looking at these numbers you can find the, the missing factor and that's what you do in this one. Now, on page 132, this is the real transferring over to the division. Um, because we are going to get into higher levels of division. But first, we need to get to this point. And so you have your multiplication table. Um, and you can see here, um, they've broken down what the um, your box is here to, to recognize here. So we can see that 4 times 6 is 24. Well, they are saying it can be written as this as well. Well, you probably have recognized this symbol before. And what they've said is basically there's your, your little division symbol. And so um, you can see down here that, you know, 4 divided by 3 is 12. So four, 12 divided by 4 is 3. Oops, sorry, not there. And so the idea here is you're going to make some. So you can use the ones up here if you want, uh, like the one I just did. So now the, the larger number or the, the answer here would be the number that goes here. And then, of course, the number 3 would go there and the 4 would go there. Um, you can do another one from here. Let's do 4, 36, and 9. And so the way you would say that is 36 divided by 4 equals 9. Now you can continue using these ones or make up your own in the sense that you want to say one that's difficult for, for some of us is, you know, 48. And I know that it's 6 and 8. So 48 divided by 6 is 8. So make up um, 5 of your own. And um, it's a good way, once again, to practice. Like I said, you're more than welcome just to use this. But our, you can extend yourself and make up your own. Uh, now here, they just want you to transfer it from this system, or this style, to the uh, using the, the box. And for example, so there's not a lot of room, but what we can do is this being on the side here. So you put in your box, and the the, the first factor is the number that goes in the box here, like that. Okay, and then the answer goes on top, like that. And so that means only one more place for that it would go here. And the way you would say that is 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Um, Let's do one more over here. Let's do, so I put my thing in. The first number, which is goes under here. This number is the number that goes here. And that number is your answer. So 20 divided by 4, so 5. Um, here is just completing the table. 3 times 4, of course, gives you 12. Now this one is 3 multiplied by what is 27. And if you know your 9 times tables, you would be able to do that. And then here is just more of your site. To be able to see this, there's two two factors, and you're looking for that third one. Three, 21, what's that missing factor? Seven, because you know that seven times three is 21. Let's do one more. Uh, four into 28, and if you know your time tables right away, you're like, oh, I know that missing factor. It happens to be seven again. All right, until next time.